What is going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Unique Uniques. So, today I have a rather interesting find to show you guys. Uh, this is a two-handed sword. It is called Cloaker Beast. Now, there are pros and cons to this weapon, but in my opinion, at least for a barbarian, I would say that I think that the pros heavily outweigh the cons. So first let me get into the affixes and then I can explain to you why I think this is actually um, a weapon that you might actually want to use, especially in the early game if you're really just starting out as a barbarian. So the affixes go as followed. 15% increased attack speed, you get 20% faster hit recovery, it adds 35 to 70 damage. Here's the interesting part. It gives you plus four to Cloak of Shadows. It gives you hit, blinds target, and 15 to dexterity. Now, why am I saying the plus four to Cloak of Shadows is interesting? Well, that is actually because Cloak of Shadows is an ability that is normally only used by the assassin. So this sword, by you equipping it onto your Barbarian, you're giving yourself a skill that the Barbarian normally does not have access to. And you can actually equip this skill as early as level 20. But what does Cloak of Shadows do, you might be wondering. So Cloak of Shadows, air quotes, causes the sky to go black and makes it difficult for all enemies to actually see or hit you when it's cast the skills of some monsters are actually blocked for example when you cast this archers cannot fire at you sand maggots can't actually lay their eggs unravelers can't use their poison breath and venom lords cannot use their ability inferno so having cloak of shadows on your barbarian is actually very beneficial to you especially considering it is something that you normally would not be able to use. And if that wasn't good enough, it also gives you hit, blinds, target. So the monsters, when you cast Cloak of Shadows, when you get within a, a close proximity of them, they can then realize, oh, hey, you're there, and they'll start attacking you. The hit, blinds, target actually counteracts that. So when you walk up to an enemy now, yes, they'll be able to see you because you're within you know the proximity of them and again you have to be very close right for them to actually be able to see and start firing at you but now you're going to hit them and when you hit them the hit will blind the target and it'll effectively give you that cloak of shadows ability even up close and in the monsters faces there is a drawback to this that being that this is a two-handed weapon so you have to kind of think about your options here because you could go and actually just use a shield instead. Maybe give yourself a little bit of faster attack speed. Because obviously the two-handed weapons aren't nearly as fast as one-handed weapons. But at the same time, you know, you could still be having issues even when you have a sword and a shield. Anyway, so you really have to decide on whether or not you want to use a shield and a sword or this weapon. Me personally, I could see myself using this as a barbarian, especially if I was just starting out. And because, I mean, we all know the barbarian is probably one of the harder classes to use in this game. So, I would definitely use this myself, especially if I'm just beginning the game and I'm trying to get my bearings. And one of the major reasons why I say that is the amount of damage that this thing does. So, if you look up here, it says it gives you... Two-handed damage of 43 to 87, with adds 35 to 70 damage on there. So you know that when you find this weapon, right, you're probably going to get a fair amount of damage whenever you can find this. So it's great that dexterity helps you with attack rating, because that's what dexterity is going to be used for when you're using a barbarian, is you want to put points in the dex because you want to get that attack rating up. And when you get your attack rating up, I'm sure you already know if you're watching this, because you're probably a hardcore fan like me, but that just means you're going to hit your target that many more times. And so if you have a character that is constantly hitting the targets that can't see you, while the other monsters can't see you to fire at you because 
the ranged monsters literally don't know that you're there because you have found a way to get Cloak of Shadows onto your Barbarian. I, I'm, I think you can see where I'm going with this as to why that would be a very, very beneficial um, situation and scenario for the Barbarian. So, again, if I would use this, it would probably only be on a Barbarian. Could use it on a Paladin if you wanted to, but I think there are a few better options out there. And I'm not even saying like this is the de facto way to do this. But if you find this and you happen to be like level 15, maybe level 21, 22, consider using this because this really could help you out, especially in those higher levels um, of the beginning normal difficulty. Probably even up into the maybe the middle of Nightmare, depending. But by then, hopefully you have found way better gear. And um, yeah, I think I'm good on that. I think I'm done with this one. But uh, thank you for listening. And uh, everyone take it easy. Oh, one last thing before I go. I am going to be working on Rune Word soon. But I'm also going to... The first thing I want to do next is to make a guide on the crafting recipes. Because there's... I think there's over like almost a thousand crafting recipes that have been added to the game. And I think um, a lot of people I've seen don't really understand like how powerful those those cube recipes can really be. So I want to work on that. I'm going to continue to put these out, but I want to work on that one next too. And uh, thank you if you're listening and um, have a good day. Bye.